All right, so this is our week one check-in for our wearable challenge, our fitness Level. <laughs> monitor levels, glucose monitoring fitness challenge. <laughs> so it's been one week since we put on the, the little monitor, right? We did it last Thursday. We thought this would be a good opportunity to check in, let you know how the first week has gone. So, you know, kind of see if we have any aha moments, any struggles, any like results that you're noticing. So I guess that's the first question, right? Is what, what have you seen? What's been, maybe what's been hard this first week? Has anything been a challenge? Um, <laughs> has it been hard? So like, as far as just feeling hungry or feeling lethargic, whatever, like that has been easy. Like just going about my day has been easy. Like you feel normal. You I feel, feel the same. normal and I don't feel like stressed about it or anything, but at the same time, like the motivation of trying to get under, I think is like, a, it's like, it's, it's more empowering instead of like, okay. So like staying in our range or whatever. Well, it's like I really want to instead of like a regular diet so or whatever. So have you to be like more disciplined? Right. Like, I, mean, I don't know what that means, but <laughs> it makes it's like easier for me to to like try, I guess. But all that being said, I have not done good. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. I felt like I've done better. That's what I guess. That's to answer your question. So that's been the thing. It's is been... I felt like. I've been doing a lot better and I've even have lost some weight, but yeah, have you, I have, yeah. Cause I have, like that's, that's one of the two pounds. Yeah. So week. yeah, for me, like I'm the same way, like in a one week, I'm already down four pounds and I don't feel hungry. I'll admit like I, I, I actually feel like better. Than better. Yeah, yeah, I do. Too. Like I do notice like a change in my energy. Yeah. Um, I'll admit I've had a couple of bad days too, where I've, cause the whole point of the challenge is that we're supposed to stay within a range or under 120, whatever the, the units are again, yeah. milligrams per whatever. And so of the last five days, I only stayed under on Monday, the very first day. <laughs> and hopefully today, hopefully today. So far, so good. That's right. The thing that was kind of wacky about the second day was I felt like I ate healthy, but I spiked a lot, even though it that was, was the up. first... So if you watched our previous video, that was the first night um, where while I was sleeping, I didn't have like a snack or anything before bed and I stayed super level at night, which I was like, okay, that's a good sign. So I right. shouldn't be having anything before bed because it makes me spike and then go way down. So I didn't go down. So I was thinking, okay, I had an awesome Monday and then I didn't go down. So I ate like what I considered healthier, I thought, on Tuesday and like all of my meals only got like a four rating. They were really bad. Well, I've yeah, noticed a spiked. pattern for me. Yeah. And that's, What's yours? I don't think it was too surprising because I, I already, I went into this thinking like, okay, carbs and sugars are probably going to like wreak havoc for me, uh, which was true, but it was, but the time of day became kind of interesting because I don't tend to eat a whole lot of carby foods in the morning. Like I love breakfast, but I tend to eat like eggs and maybe a piece of toast sometimes but eggs and like some veggies and that's like kind of my typical breakfast and that's that was great that doesn't do anything to my, my like glucose levels it's like stays super steady lunchtime i like maybe a sandwich you know something uh yeah a sandwich or uh, uh yeah i'm gonna just, i'm gonna say sandwich a third time <laughs> and so i like a sandwich <laughs> but what i was noticing was uh, oh, and then and dinner time is kind of a mixed bag. Well, anyways, the foods, so lunchtime, any carbs were really messing with me, any carby foods. So I tried, you know, just having like a straight up salad with like uh, lots of veggies, maybe some proteins on it. And that was great. That did awesome for me. And then I found that I also had like all kinds of energy going into the afternoon. But then I, I was like, I got to test it again. So then I went and I had <laughs> like a sandwich <laughs> and it went like, spike and I felt all like lethargic mid afternoon and then dinner time stuff tends to be like I could have more of those carby foods and it doesn't seem to do as, as crazy on me but the stuff that was driving me potatoes like any type of potato for me I would have like so that and that was whoop, it would spike me right up interesting we don't actually have a lot, we don't of, have potatoes a lot of potatoes normally but like I mean, the cup like we had a couple of meals this week that had some in it like true. just some cut potatoes or whatever 
and that was that was like off the charts. As I've been going, I eating you know eating all these veggies and meats and stuff all week long. Yesterday we went to Panera Bread and we're like, hey, let's go to Panera, get some healthy, you know, off the menu. And we both picked a hey, salad. We acknowledge Panera isn't like considered healthy. Yeah, we just healthier, we're starving fast food, right? and busy. <laughs> we're like, we gotta go out. And I was like, it was the first time going out to in eat. like weeks. Yeah, for the well, week. other than like weekend, but yeah. like. But so we go. And we're like, we're gonna pick stuff, the healthy items off the menu. Mm -hmm. So we both picked a salad, and you picked the Thai spicy Thai spicy or whatever thai. salad, and I went with the Fuji apple chicken, and. As soon as I ordered it, I was like, that's probably gonna go bonkers on me because apples are pretty sweet, right? So I thought, but hey, it's natural sugars. But then as soon as I took a bite, what was surprising to me was how sweet it tasted. Usually I eat that salad, I'm probably gonna get a salad. But like the dressing on it, everything, it tasted way sweet. And then sure enough, as soon as we check later, I didn't spike over the range, but I got mighty close. And I was, it was just interesting to see that, wow, how you're quickly your body can adapt. But the, the, my big take home too of this whole process is it's hard. It's way hard to kind of keep that nice steady line that you want to see. So it's like, no wonder yeah. diets are freaky hard because it's hard <laughs> to well, maintain and like, that. And, and, and figuring yeah. out, I think the pairings and like the combinations is such a huge part of it because it's not like you can just cut and paste like, oh, I had this one day and that worked. And then it's like, I'll have that another day. Yeah, and then like, all of a sudden it doesn't work. And you so you're like, whoa, it wasn't just the food. Yeah. There was like whatever the combination was. <laughs> One of the things that has been frustrating, I guess, for me this week that it, again, and like, because I am acknowledging that there are these combinations is I don't know. I've had a lot of weird things happen this week that are unusual. And so I'm like, I don't know how much of this plays like into what's going on. you were on. abducted by so an alien. Had, you tried some new Makeup brand would <laughs> define unusual. <laughs> I was going to Wednesday. I went to go work out, but I had a I was sore from the previous couple of days workouts, so I took like a little bit of medication for. I also have like an injured back, so I was like, okay, how is the medication going to play into it? I don't know. And then I had my regular hit workout and then a strength workout. And then lo and behold, I get back and that I get, actually I didn't spike and I got like a seven out of 10. That's the rankings they give you. And the next day, Thursday, I also like started my period. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa. Way more whoa, information. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, my point is how does that like, obviously I've got like hormonal changes too that factor in and I'm like, I feel like an unfair, like, you know, I mean, you want to fight me? That's what it did. <laughs> Wait a second. No, no, no. <laughs> I just mean like the com the competitor in me is like, that's oh, right. I'm frustrated that I only had one good day so far. So Again, you, you were you were competing against the data and I don't and losing like, that fight, and that was frustrating. I guess, but I guess I just want to yeah. be like, I want a little bit more like points or help from the app or from whatever. That's like, hey, by the way, if these things are happening, this might you know, throw so, things off and don't be concerned or whatever. But it's right. like, I am concerned, but at the same time, I'm like, I can't, I mean, I can control what I'm eating, but I like can't control my menstrual cycle. <laughs> so like, that's annoying, right? Well, I started mine too this week. Stop and, it. And, <laughs> yeah, they, they talk about that in the articles that they have. That sometimes if you're really strenuous workout, it'll it'll go over the, the limit. And that's just like a physiological thing that happens. I know, but do I get my money? That's right, you do. So you'll be all right. And so <laughs> it's all about getting that. The competition has the really competition. made it like. Yeah, the competition has thrown a different wrench into it for sure. Because uh, one of the things that, that I just noticed later on this week was in the app, the Levels app itself has a challenge guide because it is a bit of an art along with the science to kind of fine tune, you know, how, how your meals work and your, your workouts and things like that. Uh, speaking of which, that's our timer for some cauliflower pizza <laughs> that's beeping. And so, yeah, so <laughs> there's a, on the Levels app, there's a challenge kind of tab where it walks you through and it says, okay, you know, you need to figure out what works for you. White rice, brown rice, you know, soy milk, dairy milk, uh, potato, potato. Neither of those work for me. <laughs> so you have to kind of follow this challenge. But the thing is, is 
Normally, if you're just using the straight levels app, that would be okay, but we're part of this challenge, this wearables challenge. And as part of that challenge, you can't really experiment that much because if we go out of our range, uh, we lose money. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's we have a little bit more skin in the game. Mm -hmm. So uh, so it's a little doesn't give you quite as much leeway to experiment. But I find that that's what's cool about the whole thing, at least for me, is this level of experimentation that's involved is pretty cool. Like where you'd be able to go in and say, "Wow, okay, how did this mill work?" But I think the biggest aha for me, and this is only week one, so we'll see after like three weeks of doing this if it starts to get tiring, but I, I haven't noticed, like we said earlier, energy drop hasn't happened. I haven't felt hungry, but also it's been way more motivating than like counting calories. Like yeah. counting calories, I think is like the most tedious, like slog fest ever. So it's so bleh. And uh, having to sit there and, and log every little thing and figure out the calorie count. Whereas this is like, I take a picture, I eat it, I scan it, and then I see what it does. And if it's crazy, then I say, well, okay, mental note, I probably shouldn't eat that as much. <laughs> and, you know, obviously there's some foods that's like uh, super dumb moments. Like, oh yeah, I shouldn't eat French fries in the middle of the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. But there's other things that, that you start to realize. So I think that that for me, after week one, that's my biggest aha is we both have, have like had like weight loss as a result. And we've also felt really good and uh, it hasn't been super nasty <laughs> yeah, no, it's been like i really like it and yeah. i think it's interesting and it's way more motivating it feels more like a liberating real way of keeping your memory. oh you're doing it right now? yeah there you go and i haven't had a sensor rip off in the last several days even though i've been very worried about it i can't i do find that i'm constantly checking it to be like so is it peeling off is it falling off so i check it a lot <laughs> <laughs> week one i'm i'm motivated to, to roll into week two i'm feeling good about what, what's coming up i'm excited to see if 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 i get the same i'm i'm, I'm guessing i'm not i'm not going to be losing the same amount of weight that's that's pretty that's a lot in one week it's probably it a lot all in one week water weight right in but, what's, but that's water what's weight interesting weight. though is it's yeah. like i mean how many times have you worked out uh three so, but reasonable is what I'm saying. Yeah, and like, me too. I've had three days of workouts. So, you know. It's, it's I guess what normal. I'm saying is, I mean, yeah, obviously doctors have always said like, that's not a, like more than whatever, two a week. You want like a pound but a week. But my more. point is, is it wasn't like you, A, you weren't starving yourself. B, you weren't over exercising. Right. Like you were doing yeah. like a it felt, healthy it felt lifestyle. Natural. It felt natural. So, so we'll see. That's encouraging. Yep. It is encouraging. So we'll see. I'm excited to go into week two. We got some ammo. We're going into the weekend. Uh, so let's see how, how it goes. Weekend foods, here we go. And um, let's have fun. Oh yeah, high fives. Oh, wait, we're doing it slowly. I don't know. <laughs> You'll probably slow-mo it in the post anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah, we're gonna change that. <laughs> so onward and upward, here we go. Good times, great oldies. We'll see you in another Thanks for week. joining us <laughs> on our weird journey. <laughs>